I'm testing something. If this works, I have one more thing I can try and I may be able to go into Gary's garden and do live. I'm sitting out here. I should be working. It's getting warm. I planted some seeds last night. I'm going to check and see how they're doing. I have a couple contraptions I'm trying to, so I can go outside with, let's say a computer or my iPhone and get good connection. So this is what I'm testing. The only real way to test it is just go online and do it. My chair garden is going great. Should have a video up on that soon. Kind of an update. Mark, can, Mark, I'm gonna walk around. Can you tell me how the picture is? Because I set up, I forget which it is, a modem or router outside. I'm not hardwired, but I've got it set up outside. How does the picture look, Mark? Is it jumpy? I'm gonna go all the way up to the uh, ponds that I need to fix up the bathroom. Oh, my husband's texting me. He's probably home, or not home, but on the way home. Hello, you know, it's, I'm in the sun, so I can't read er and everything. So I, all I wanna know is the picture's perfect. <gasps> I know what we did wrong when we did Gary's garden. I took this modem out. I, I get them mixed up, whichever it is. Modem or router. And I think the one we used in this garden was broke. So I took it out today and I, I've i got all the... My brain doesn't, doesn't stop. I took it out and I've got it hooked up in the rainbow garden. And I'm thinking... I bought myself a little... It's, they call it a generator. It is not, but this is something that if this works, then I think I can go into Gary's garden and do live. Oh, cool. Let me see what Gary has typed. And then I'll answer. I'm not going to stay on. I have to get work done because we've been so hot. So let me see what Gary is texting. You can just look at my garden. Almost time for, oh, he's letting me know he's almost home. I am live. He's going to think, what the heck is she doing? He never knows when I'm going live. Sometimes I'll be sitting there. I'll tell him, should we go live? Oh, he says, I'm tired. Not now. Guess what, Gary? We're live. Okay. It's not jumpy. Oh my gosh, my mind has been working and working. I think, I think I've got this. I think I can bring my computer outside. I think I can hook up and go almost anywhere on the property. Okay, so let me go real quick and say hello to everybody before I cut off. Design props, is that supposed to be? Um, she was second. Hello, Lori, Linda. The picture's perfect. I hope it stays perfect. I wonder if I can walk down the Gary's Bees. Of course, if I fell down the hill, some of you would have to call 911. Um, Linda, let's see, Lori, Linda, Elaine, hi, William. It looks good. I'm so excited because the modem is down there. But I bought myself a really cool toy. And I'm, I haven't shown you yet because I want to make sure it works really good. I always do that. And because it, it only costs like a hundred bucks and I'm going crazy with it. I have not hooked that up yet. So I think it's something a lot of us can get. So that will be my next test. Let's see. The picture's great. Not jumping. Jean and I are using container. Oh, God, I'm so glad. That's Christopher. And I don't know. Let's see. E-T-O-I-L-E 2423. Hello. Let's, I'm going to test something. Let's see how far we can go. I know I've missed a lot of you. Betty. Angela, I saw your message last night. You should be gardening soon, right? We're going into fall. You should be gardening pretty quick. Okay, let's see how far I can go. Let's see if I can. That's where the deer go across because I can still move it out. But now I think I can move this thing anywhere on the property. Okay, so this is where the deer go through. Let's see if I'm gonna lose you. This is a path, and the coyotes come through here. They go up, and then they come through here. Probably not a good thing for me to do by myself in case the mountain lion came through. I have not seen him. I think I saw him once. My neighbor has seen him like three times, but he's rare, he doesn't come through here. They even named him. All right, so this is, this is a real cool place. I absolutely love this. Look at all the trees. It's like you're living in a forest. And we kept it this way. It has a picture. <gasps> it's still good. Well, this is hard plugged in, but I bought myself this thing. They call it a generator. It is not. It's not. I'm not using it yet. And I have been using my soldering iron with it. I can go anywhere on the property, and I absolutely love it. The picture's still good. 
I've never been able to go this far. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I hiked up here one night and there was a big owl just sitting on the ground. But the deer come through here. And it's just so beautiful. Look at this. This is their hoof prints. That's their hoof prints. And then I'm not sure why Gary left this. I think he's going to take it down. Oh, he's got a nest box here. Look at that. See a nest box? See if I can zoom in. No, I can't. Yeah, see? He put a nest box there. I didn't even know he did. How's the picture still good? Oh, clear as a bell. Oh, wow. I'm going to be able to go into Gary's garden. Look at that. I see a dragonfly up there. You cannot, but I'm not hiking back there. I don't think I've ever hiked back there. Oh, I did once. Okay, so let's see. I can do that. This is a tree stump. We don't want to trip on that to fall on my face while I'm lying. And there's the aloe vera you never get to see. Gary planted that. It gets water only when I water the truck bed. And there's where the bees are. His Oh, he loves the carpenter bees. Those uh, horsefly-like carpenter bees. Look at this. So I've got this old... I don't remember which is which, modem, let's say, plugged in because I tried one that we used in Gary's garden and it told me that the Wi-Fi wasn't working. I did not know that. I think I will probably lose it soon because I'm going to go too far, but we'll just test it. And I noticed today, because I'm sitting there with it, the Wi-Fi is not working. It may tell you it's working, it is not working. So I dug up a very old modem I had, very old, probably like. 15 years old and um, that I know works. Is the picture still good? How's the picture? Nobody's saying anything. Are you all still there? Did I lose you? Oh no! Okay so I can't. Okay I see your all beautiful thanks to you. Okay but can you still hear me? Is the picture still good? Hi, Smitty. Good. Betty, does that mean good? Good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, look what you get to see. Do you know what that is? Can you see that up there? That is a pack rat nest. They build in the trees. Gary goes around knocking them down when, when they're in the way. So I guess he left that one because, yes, you can hear me. Look how far I am. And Gary's garden's down there. I'm not going to go all the way because I want to be able to bring the modem down here now because I have power. I love my new toy. And there's Gary's bees. Look at this. Because I usually come out here, it's like, oh, it's, uh oh, it's getting fuzzy. Oh, we're getting fuzzy. Okay, well, I, I believe it would be because now I've got a block wall and it's blocking the modem. So, but that's pretty good. Okay, so it's gone further. The next thing will be to take out my new toy I got. It's a little, it's, I know, they're calling it a generator. And see if I can put that somewhere with the router or modem and see if that will work. And then if that does, I can go anywhere in the yard. Okay, we're hiking back up. Let's get up this hill already. Oh, something made a hole. Um, Gary should be home soon. Okay, I'm happy. Oh, look at that. If you can see them. They've been all over here. Nope, oh, he's gone. Okay, so I have my least favorite pump in there right now. Want to start working on this fairly soon. Hi, little guy. The males are red and the females are more on the brown side. He doesn't mind. So we have tons of these. I can't remember if they're red skimmers, but we have tons of the dragonflies. And here I have to get busy and get that pump sent in there right. It's full of fish. Oh, wow. This was full last night. The deer come and drink fresh water out of that. Look at the tomatoes. Came up on their own. And if I don't cover them, the deer will eat them. All right, I think I did enough of a test. Let's see if my seeds came up. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, they did. 
cool. Oh dear. Oh, okay, I know what they are. <laughs> I thought I labeled them, I did not. Those are bush baby squash. Let's put that on there right now. I'll just leave that up there. Okay, I have to cover them or the deer will eat them. All right, and then I've got my watermelon. Like I said, this is just a test. So if you got work to do, go do your work. And I swear, I think there's a caterpillar on this. I know that deer have been eating this at night. I bet you there's a caterpillar. I've looked, there's no droppings, but they do eat all the leaves off. That's what the deer do now. So I have to deal with caterpillars and deer. Okay, let me see what you've written. Huh. Cool, now I can have some freedom and not be tethered. The next thing I wanna do is see if I can get my laptop out here and that will give me a better picture. But, uh, you know, I know, I can't pronounce that. This is why I need Gary. I can barely get through the English language, which is my own language, the only language I know. Um, M-A-L-A-C-H, I-7, hello, thank you. Oh, good, talk to Barbara, talk to everybody. Hi, Barbara. Oh, you just came in for coffee. I, I'm testing, I can walk over, it's a big mess. I'm testing a modem, you haven't seen my new toy yet. So, let's see. All is doing okay, I'm about ready to tear that apart. Trimmed all the tomatoes back yesterday here. I'll leave that for now. Look at my cucumbers. They literally grow overnight. Only problem is, you can see where I scraped this one by pulling it through. And that one's on the other side. And that one's on the other side. So we'll just have to pull that away and get them out later. Those are fantastic. So here's my mess. And I am working here. I'm working here too. So right now, I have a modem outside. Or a router. This is working. But this is my fun new toy. And I want to do a video to tell you all the stuff I can do with it. Look at this. It is not a generator. So when you go to buy one, I had cereal out here this morning. It's not a generator. It's, you know what it is? It's actually a backup battery. I don't know if any of you have a backup battery on your computer. I say everybody should have. I have calculated with the one I got, and it did happen once when you lose electricity, as long as the internet doesn't go down, you'll still have internet for your phone all day with a backup battery. Well, now they put them in a box and they call them, look, you have a generator, 300 watts. It's not a generator but it works fantastic. I've been carrying that around the yard. I grab my soldering iron with that and take it everywhere, see? Look, I'm doing this video right now. No. You can plug in here, you can charge your phone. I love this thing. They had it on sale for like $119. So I'm really pleased with it. I'll do a video on it as soon as I start using it more. And that's, I'm actually gonna go out there and make some holes with it using my soldering iron. But this needs power, and that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna plug that in, and then I've got this blue cord. I think it's hundreds of feet. I can plug, in, plug it in and be hardwired. Anyways, I'm excited. You know, this is really good for anybody to get, let's say if the power went out, you can use the light for all night or a couple days if you're careful with it. All right. Maria, hello, yes. I, I'm testing this old, old modem to see if I can get some good signal outside. And it works. It's so old, doesn't have a password. And it's working really good. So now I can move this thing around, provided it's got electricity, which is gonna come from that, but I didn't do that today. That'll be my next test, but not today. Today I wanna finish up, I think everything is done here. I have to do my buckets. That's coming. But right now I'm going to work in, where am I going to go work right now before the sun gets really, really hot? I have to redo my corn because if I, that's the thing I wanted to uncover. I'll uncover it with you right now because if I don't uncover it, I'll forget. I need to make the stakes higher so the corn can go up good. But I have to cover it because favorite food of deer. So right now it's been a mess to do this every night. Oops, sorry. And every, look how beautiful. So, I'll just get the stakes up and I'll use the tubing 
and then I can just drape some tool around the base as far up as the deer are because our deer only eat what they can easily get to. They're really lazy, which is really cool. They're just too lazy. And so if they walk by and they see this, they look, I've seen them on camera. It's like, nah, I don't want to bother with that. They haven't bothered with the watermelon. They don't like pepino, which is good. And then they walk on by. Oh, there's my picture. I've got to get a lot more pictures out in the garden. This is doing really good. Look at that. This is their favorite plant right now. Can I zoomed out? No. This is their, they come up uh, by here and they eat all the, see that might be too tall for them. No, they just missed it. They came by and you see at night, they're just real gentle eating off the um, tomatoes. And then they go down their merry way over to the orange trees. All right, so what else can I say before I go? If I don't go, I'll end up not getting work done. The squirrels love corn. Oh, they peel, peel it like bananas? That's cute. That's, that's the last thing I want is the squirrels eating my corn. Hi, Claw Master. 80, A, A, D, E, hello. Good evening, or someplace where it's evening. <laughs> I try, you know, Maria, I try to deal with the animals because if I was a kid with all this, I would have just been in seventh heaven. Um, I, I'll deal with it one way or another. Even if, you know, if worse came to worse, I would put up dog runs. Whatever, a, let's say an animal can't get out of, then an animal can't get in. And I would put up dog runs and, and do what I have to in there. But I I'm, don't have to go that far. The tool is working really good. Why fam? Greetings. Good. Say hello to everybody. Linda, I'm off to work. Yes, I'm going to be off in a second too because I need to get this done. Gary's coming home soon. He had to go to work. Um, the irrigation tubing, Smitty. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. The first time I put it up, I only used it for the corners and I used it for little things like that. But it, the more you start working with it, you go, whoa. See, I used to bend it. You, you just figure out what you can do with it. And now I'm making hoops and it goes way up. And I've got just, that was just to keep the deer out of that. And it's done really sloppy, but it was quick. The eggplant over there is fantastic. I'm thinking of going all the way up the wall for the... Well, I guess Malabar spinach got up there already. And then I'm going to do something with the corn. That was just thrown together in minutes to save it. Because if I didn't do it the other night, it would have been toast. And I'm just going to have it this spring. It's going to be everywhere. I just stuck one there to hold my peppers up. The only drawback with this, I'm swinging you all over, is it's 500 feet for $35. So... Don't be dumb like I was. I was dragging the thing all over the place. And it's like, why am I doing this? So I unraveled what I needed. I don't know, 10, 20, 30 feet. And it doesn't matter if you end up with a little piece because you can use it for a corner. But it, it's a good buy. And as soon as the companies find out we're using it for something else, they'll probably raise the price. I hope not. Mark. This channel is why I have a garden. I thought you said this channel is why you gave up gardening. God. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Christopher. Philly suburbs soaking in the sun outside trying to get some work done. But enjoying this. Oh, ultimate garden. I love color. I absolutely love color. Maria, yes. Let's see. Let me see if I can get through everybody. Raccoons. Leandra, I think I've got that right. Uh, New York, raccoons and squirrels tore my netting and ate the corn. I have one rab, I've got a pair of rabbits that live here. I think you've seen the picture. I had a, one of these lids that I cover my seeds with on the ground and it found out it can sit on the lid, which is really odd. It can sit on the lid and not have to sit on the ground and it doesn't mind it. You can run into some, that's why, you know, some that don't mind the tool, that's why I don't tool everything. If I told all this, the entire garden, the deer would come through. And if they're really hungry, because, I mean, the hills are dry, and they only eat certain trees, then they would start to pull at it, because they'd be starving. It, it, that's, that's the thing. So what you may have to try to do is grow something for them. They don't have to know it's for them. Let them think that they're sneaking it. And try tooling some of the other stuff. But raccoons, oh, 
I'm going to actually tell you, I had a raccoon. I'm not even going to say as a pet because it was never a pet. Maybe 40 years ago and they have hands and they have brains and they're tough. So you're going to have to think of how you would keep a raccoon is how you're going to keep them out. Let's see. Um, oh, Bendingo. Oh, nice and clear near your rainbow garden. Okay, good. Let's see, put some hot powder. Does that really work? Hot powder on the ground where the bird see, hits. Her. I've heard that. But you know, a lot of animals don't taste spice, so you'd have to try it. I always say try it. And I have no space, but I use recycled water bottles for pots. Um, let me let me see, because I know I've missed tons and tons. I'm hoping Gary's home soon, so he can say goodbye. Let's see, Barbara, I think I said hello to you. I know I'm going to miss a lot. Angela. Angela, you, when will you start planting your zucchini? You had problems, I think, with your zucchini last time. I have ideas. I have, I have some really good ideas, other ones, but Gary won't let me put them up yet. Oh, I'll blame it on Gary. <laughs> no, there's nothing wrong with it, but it, it, there's a couple little things. There's little tricks you can do, and right now, well, I could end up being the most hated person, so I'm not going to put it up right now. Um, are you in zone 10? I'm in 10A. Hi, everyone. Let's see. Okay, that's Bar Barbara. Blue Rose is Diane. Thank you. Uh, Sherry. Inverter. You know, they're calling, you're, you're right. It would be an inverter, but it's a, it's a battery. I'll see how long it lasts. I charged it at once. When I got it, it took... I was really nervous because the plug, the unit got really hot. Not the, not that, but the converter that actually puts the electricity in there. So I sat that box part on a coffee mug. Just sat it on a coffee mug and made sure that I was in the house and around. I think I'll charge it next time outside. Um, but it said in the instructions, it gets hot. So it worked and now I'll see how long it lasts. I've only used it a few times for using my soldering iron. There's a light built in. I love it. I think it's going to be my go-to. Even if it only lasts for two years, three years, I don't know how long it's supposed to last for. I'd be really happy with it. All right, let's see. Sunset gazing. It's raining. Hummingbirds are still feeding. Hummingbirds don't mind the rain. They'll try to sit out of the rain, but they fly around in the rain. Laura O'Quinn. Yep, you caught me live. Louisiana, I am definitely live. I'm just testing something. And it worked. I can go all the way out there. It's too hot to go all the way out there again. I'm going to go work. I had a possum for a pet. We had a possum years ago. I think somebody found it. and I don't remember. We bottle fed it. I, and that's too long ago. Too long ago. Let's see. But the raccoon, no. I've had, I've had a skunk. I had a skunk for a pet. Yeah, she bit me. Everybody said I was going to die of rabies. I didn't. And I uh, found her a new home afterwards, figuring, figuring she wasn't really for me. No, she ran around the house and did use a cat litter box. It wasn't, somebody gave her to me. It was really sad because somebody called me and said they had her. And when I went over there, they didn't want her. They didn't even know she was descended. And this is, I was crazy. I used to take everything in. Anybody want to give something away, call me and I go get it. And when I went there, it was in a bird cage. Bird cage wasn't even much bigger than that blue bucket. And I said, you kept her in that? And they said, well, we don't know if she's descended. Somebody gave her to her, them. So I took her home and worked with her and then realized, again, probably something I need to find a home for. I found her a really, really good home. Really, really good home. So let's see, Mark. Uh, that's true. I, and, and, and good, tell everybody that. The other thing is, if you're growing more than what you need, what we're going to need to do is start making our own soil. So everything that you don't eat and you don't give away or store or something, you put it back in a tote or back into something because that's the greatest soil. This is really, I know a lot of people don't like miracle Grow, but I'll tell you something. The only thing is sometimes I like starting my seeds in there, and that's what I'm doing right there, even though I have been pulling soil out of totes and doing it too. It's the only one I haven't had an issue with, but I have been buying off and on a bag of something cheap, yeah. Oh, look who's home. I'll tell you how I'm doing this. I'm going to be able to do a garden tour in your garden now. Remember we did that last one? And it was choppy? Yes. This wasn't working. 
Okay. That was the issue, and I didn't know until I came out here. It was not working, so that is gone. So they're, they're, those old modems are dying. But this one, which is what? I'm going to guess that thing is at least 15 years old, if not older. This is the very first one we bought. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what's... That came well, off the camera. that's not plugged into anything. No, right now okay. it's not plugged in. But uh, I was telling a story, and I totally forgot what I was saying. Yep, well... That's what I do. So, no, so what I did, I'm telling Gary, it, this is hard plugged in right now. And okay. you've, you've had this wire, which if somebody, if Anissa comes out the door, she's gonna trip. So I put the rug there right now. This is just a test. And it seems to be working. Now I can go almost to your bees with a crisp, clear picture. You've got this wire in your garden, correct? Yes. So all you have to do is plug this in. We'll have to test this. You plug this in to this, you bring this down there. Now this needs power, and that's where my new baby toy comes in. Then you plug it in there and you've got power. That thing could run for days, but I don't think people want to see us live for days. Well, I've also got power at the top of the steps. You have power at the end? You put a plug down there too? Yep. So I wasted my money buying that? No, I like that. Oh, okay. So yeah. that's what I've been doing. I came out here to, I've got to go do my corn. And now I'm talking to Gary and everybody's just sitting and listening. Okay, but I've got one of these on a reel. So you this is the reel. This is the reel? Yeah, I, I, I dragged it out. It's in your... Um, well, what, I'm sa what I'm saying is you could run the reel all the way down to the end near the ponds down there and then run this off the power battery. Yeah, I'll work. That thing is amazing, but I don't want to do a video until I know, oh, I've used it for this and I've used it for that. I, my biggest thing is the only thing I really want to run that, have that run was a soldering iron and it runs it fantastic. I love it. So I can just go anywhere and not have to drag a tote, you know, back over here or in the house or wherever to find electricity, make holes. Now I can take that with me and my soldering iron. So that was it. So this was this was the test. And I just, oh, look at this, I'm sweating. They're building that house and they sing. Sometimes I think they sing real loud when they think I'm doing a video. I don't know. Barbara agrees. She, Barbara wants more live. She said hi to you, by the way. Angela, it's a bit too cold to plant zucchini. Courgettes. Yes, you're right. I, you're, you call them, they call them courgettes in Australia, right? No, um, that, um, gee, zucchini, yeah, in, they might. Wait a minute, do I have this right? Isn't Angela in Australia? Yes, okay. Angela, you? Yes. yes. And I know she had a problem last year. I think she had a problem last year with her zucchini. Let's see, spring is in, uh, spring is September. Well, we're almost there, aren't we? I'm not even sure when to start planting. I'm in Australia. That's right. And it's 3 a.m. now. She got up, Gary, just to say hello to you. <laughs> yeah, so she's in South Australia, which is similar to California climate. Well, I want to send her a message if she's got that problem. I think it was zucchini, unless it was tomatoes. I think I can give her... Oh, Donald's there! Yeah, Donald. yeah thanks, Donald. No more shade. <laughs> going, but I, uh... Um... Here I can turn so you can see Gary. <laughs> I had to put I, my reading glasses on to read the comments. Because I want to so. give her, I, I want to give her a, um, an idea of how to boost her plants if she's really have a problem. I don't know if it's just soil, but I can't do it yet. It, is it, is it Adelaide or Adelaide Hills? That's there's a difference because she might be if she's in Adelaide, the weather will be more similar to us. But if she's in the hills. She'll be more like Riverside. Think of where Clo uh, Sophie lives. Okay, I think she said it was too cool, which was our issue this year, because next year, I'm not even gonna start watermelon until July. Everything I started on the old plants are not doing good. All the stuff I just put in are doing fantastic. I found two more watermelon in the garden, what do you call it, my chair garden. I didn't even know we're there. I knew one was there. You help me with questions because I know yeah, I've missed Mark a lot. Oliver, 88 people took the day off for this stream. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know what I was doing. Neither did I. I thought, oh, I found this plug and I remembered I had this. And like I said, it's so old, there's no password on it. Malachi 7's at work. 
Okay, Malachi. That's, I always forget how to pronounce that. I'm really bad with that. <laughs> Oliver. He was the first. He's always the first. He sits there. Look at his life. He sits and waits for us. I know he waits for other ones too, <laughs> other garden channels too, but he's right there. Let's see, she, me too, I love animals. Ah, uh, I years and years ago, oh, this is so many years ago. Gosh, it would be 45 years ago. I ran an ad, ads were free back then. I lived in the Valley. Wanted, unwanted pets of any kind, except dogs and cats. And that's how I ended up with everything. It's amazing what people will give away. I ended up with monkeys. I ended up with a skunk. I ended up with a raccoon. I ended up with a slow loris. Oh, that was an interesting animal. I'll place that with somebody too. A lot, most of the stuff, everything got placed. I ended up with rabbits and guinea pigs and I, I had everything. I had a full menagerie, birds, everything. The skunk went to, he's gone now. He went to Gort, oh my gosh. Gordon Meredith. Hey, Gordon Meredith, is that his name? He was so nice. I met him and he was in with the movie business, but I used to go over when I had free time and roam around his facility. He had mountain lions and everything, beautiful setup. And he kept them even though they attacked him one day. There was a plane crash or something nearby. There was something happened and he was in there and they attacked him. And he was all scarred up, but he said it wasn't their fault. They got scared and they jumped on him. And he was the one that actually made the designer cats. The Margay's cross with tabbies. He designed that with this lady. I, I don't know. I remember seeing the first kittens and I reached the pet one. He said, no, you can't. They're still wild. But the characters I have met over the years. What is the name of your inverter? This one is called a Primax, but they had a different name. I actually got this on Walmart. So I still, if it doesn't work right, it can go back to Walmart until September 28th or something. But I've only used it right now for soldering iron, um, a soldering iron, a few other things I've plugged in a light. Did you plug something into it? No, I haven't. I don't know if it would take a drill. Years ago, I'm not gonna say what channel, a certain channel on TV was selling these and they were selling them for an outrageous amount and I thought it was something we needed and we bought it and you couldn't plug anything in. You tried to plug in a drill, he tried to plug, and you couldn't plug anything in. So I contacted the company and they said, oh no, it's only meant for lights. That's not how they advertised it. So it went back. But this says it will give a boost up to 500 watts. So you can run a lot of different things on it. So I don't know. She's in Adelaide. Okay. Okay. And then let's see, LaRue, St. George, Utah. St. George, I have a friend that lives, does he live in St. George? Yeah. Um, but on the outskirts, right? Dwayne lives in the outskirts. On the outskirts. Yeah. I have a friend, Dwayne, with his family. Let's see, Kathy Rose, hello, Kimberly Kamon, uh, from Oklahoma, K-I-L-M-O-N. Like I said, this isn't even, I'm supposed to be out there working. Um, it was your zucchini. Three years, and I thought it was my soil, and you thought your soil was great. When you start planting zucchini, if if, uh, if all goes well, I will go ahead and come out with something here. But right now, I mean, Carrie says no. <laughs> what? I want to help her get her zucchini going. Oh, yeah. You said not yet because I could end up having a problem. So as soon as they clear up the issues out here, I will tell her. Do they still have a problem in Australia? Not as bad, right? I, I, that I don't know. I'll message her. And I can give her a boost on how to get those zucchini growing. I guarantee almost it will, they'll grow. Let's see, it, so it was zucchini. And Lorena, I said, hello, Susan. If I had the funds, okay, hi, Robbie. If I had the funds, I would love to take in all I could now. Mm, there must have been another comment on my list. Weird and Weird animals. Oh, weird animals. Oh. I was very young then. <laughs> and I and I thought it would be fun. And it was fun. But like I said, I, I placed the raccoon with somebody that actually had other raccoons. I placed the monkey. I, I had a, oh, oh. I had a squirrel monkey. Placed that one. And then I had 
I had a spider monkey for a short time. Which is the one that attacked me? Macaque? Learned the hard way on that one. That one was a story in itself. They should never be, that was the monkey, there was this, how do you say this, the simi, simian society? How do you say Simeon, yeah. Simeon society? It was the Simeon society that contacted me that not time. not Angela. Oh, you're saying goodbye? Yeah. They contacted me and said they had a monkey they needed to, re to place. I was not the one for them to place it with, but they had me come down and they gave me this 18 month old monkey and said it hates women, but I think you can work with it. Oh, it hated women. I actually learned more as I had it. And I, I knew somebody that also had one and let's say a certain time of the month, they hate you more. <laughs> and it was that time of the month, it broke out of the cage, it attacked me, I locked myself in the bedroom, it tore, and this was only 18 months old, tore the house, it was home alone, to pieces. You and I were not married. Like I said, I was a kid. And um, I managed when it was in the kitchen, emptying all the shelves out, to tie something to the cage. I made a trap and it went in the cage and it went back to the society. I think that was kind of the end of my case for me. Um, let's see, I need to soak my banana peels. If I miss anything, answer. I'm going backwards, Gary. Yeah, I'm so Mar, I know where Somar is. Spider mites, red spiders. <sighs> you know, when I see them, when I and I do see them because you'll see the plant looks reddish, I just trim them back really, really hard and give them a good spray, and it has worked, and the plant gets new growth. I don't know. Sometimes the plant will still produce, even with the spider mites. That's going organic. Otherwise, I'm sure there's sprays you can get, but I just trim it back really hard. Go ahead, Gary. Are you going to say something? Oh, um, yeah, Sue Henson. She sprouted two handfuls of date palm pits. Oh! Date palm palms will grow in a lot of places, even in cool climates, but they won't produce dates unless you're in, say, Phoenix or somewhere where it stays really hot overnight. Hmm. You do know my my one minute test turned into 37 minutes. Um, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Um, Donald left, I think. Yep. Angela so left. D. Toto. Uh, oh, that's right. I already said that from San Fernando Valley. Kind of where I was. I haven't tried. So, oh, I told with the spider mites. Yes, I lived out there. Not quite there. I lived in Sunland. Uh, Julie Walker. That was the first time Julie's heard you talk so much. Does he have an accent? I don't know. You know what's funny? When I don't hear his accent, but when his sisters were here, I, I had to stop and listen because I hear their accent, but I don't hear his. And then, whoops, uh-oh, cancel, I hit something. And then when your brother came out a few years ago, I hear theirs. I have to really be more conscious of what they're saying. And with you, I don't hear it. So, yes, he has an accent. Um, okay, so LaRue is telling how to get rid of spider mites, okay. Oh, Bubble 61 was raised in Tahunga. It's, a, it's an interesting area because Tahunga really, and except for commerce, there's only one street down there that has all your stores on it. The rest are all, unless it's changed now, the, the rest are all residential. It's a, it's a nice area, Sunlin Tahunga. They used to be their own city and then they reverted and went back to part of LA. Yeah, collard is really good to have in the garden. They're probably talking among themselves because it's the best soil. It makes the best soil and plant food. Oh, Mark had, Mark, how would you say that? Be back, back in it, back and I'm really bad at this. He had slugs and snails back for pets. Back. I did too, but I would have been like six. I remember collecting them and having them. I even had grasshoppers and now I run from them. <laughs> yeah, the first part of his name could be either Bash, like okay. Bash, or it could be Bashanek or Bakanek. Oh, and Maria, yeah, she does what I do. She trims them back. I'm trimming the leaves. I trim them back really hard. If I see any sign, trim them back and if you want to compost them, just drop them in some water. If you don't, throw them out. 
Maria, I think she... The C is silent. In who? In... in oh, in Mark's? Yeah, Mark's name. Maria corresponds with my daughter. I think she really likes that. Um, let's see, Sue. Okay, I see what Sue was talking about. Fig tree mom. Um, hello. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. Julie. Gar uh, Julie, Gary's from Australia, uh, in case yeah. I didn't say. I'm trying to see. I don't want to miss anybody. Well, some crystal. I would like to see how you clean your hummingbird feeders, please. Well, maybe I'll have to do that one. I thought I had something. Basically, I throw them in the sink one at a time, and I've got a toothbrush, and I've got a painter's brush, and I scrub them real good with baking soda. But you could use a little bit of dish soap if you want, as long as it's rinsed. rinsed. I mean, people are going, oh, no, you can't. You do it the way you would do your own dishes. Now, if they're getting really moldy or something really bad, then you may have to go further with that. But I'm cleaning them two and three times a day, which I have to take that one down and clean that one because I think that one's empty. Um, did I miss anybody? I'm going to go back to work. Donald said bye a long time. I'm actually rolling backwards. I said hello to Fig Tree Mom. If I didn't, hello again. Kathy Rose. Okay, I think I'm back where I was earlier. So that's it. So I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, Smithy Homestead. Question, do you grow tree collard from seed or from cuttings only? Haven't been able to find it. I didn't know if you were going to answer. I only grow from cuttings. No, 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 no. Let me, let me back up. That's not true. The best way is cuttings but they've come up when they hybridize with other things. Or I shouldn't yeah. say that, they, if you grow them from seed, John Kohler has talked about this. He's real big with his tree collars. They're kind of a designer plant. So if you grow them from seed, it's like growing mint from seed. You're not gonna always get the plant you thought you were gonna get. It could revert back and look more like regular collard. It may not turn into a tree. It's best to get cuttings. The only problem is, yes, I got three cuttings on eBay and one lived, but that's okay. The one is giving me a lot of plants. Cuttings are better. If you can't get cuttings, then go ahead with seeds, but they probably won't be exactly the way they're supposed to be. What do you have to say? Yeah, they, they won't grow true from seed, but you'll get something similar. Yeah, still good enough to eat. They just may not turn into a full-size tree. They may not have the trunk that can support itself really good. Um, it may not look the same. There's a lot of different things. They say it's there's just certain things that don't do well from seed. Like if you do mint, you really want to do cuttings. And that's the easiest thing to do is mint. But if you do the seeds, they kind of revert back to wild and it doesn't taste good. Look up Liquid Dirt LLC on YouTube. Okay, I'll look it up later. Lauren Smith. Beans. I need your advice on growing. You're the one growing more beans than anybody, Gary. I'm trying to beans, see. Beans, black, green, and black, green, and cucumbers. The baby ones. I'm not sure what that is. Now, I'm growing... I used to grow a lot of green beans. Lately, they haven't grown that good. That's why I started wondering on some of the soil. But I've got scarlet runner beans growing everywhere because I've been getting Gary seeds. You're growing, all, you have a purple. Yeah, I have. Um, I think she wants to know how to grow them. Blau Hilda, I've just planted a couple of Blau Hilda. Um, but my, mostly I grow scarlet runners because they're so universal and they're perennial here. But she wants to know how baby cucumbers and oh green beans she's looking for green beans and black beans she's struggling with those <clears throat> i don't have coffee don't drink that that's from yesterday back there um how do you roll them i just soak them overnight in warm water put put them in warm water let them soak overnight then i plant them out um, they tend to do better the second year if they've they're grown in the same soil. Because, oh, 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 I see what you're saying. Because there is a... Um, it's like a bacteria, isn't it? Or a yeah, fungi? A, microbe? 
Yeah, I can't even think what the term is. That's a. You can buy that. Yeah, you can buy buy that. It's something that's that gets them to grow really good in the soil that they produce. So if you grow beans in the same place, they produce it. Um, let's let me back up. As far as let me see what she said. It was at she's Bubbles wrote it. Sixty one rhizome. I can't. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. R h i z o b i a. Is that what you're thinking of? Yeah, where, where are you? Last someone, question, last uh, comment. Someone wrote it. Yeah, yeah rhizobia. There we go. That's the word I was looking <clears> for. <throat> I need to get some water or something. Um, the scarlet runner beans don't seem to need anything. I start them in my new way of starting them just because it's easier. I get them rooted. I don't have any beans out here rooted. And then I just stick them in the ground and they grow. I mean, I start them in the house. If I put them directly outside, a lot of times I don't see them. But if I stick them in the house and get them started, whether it's a plastic bag or my new way, um, then you know where they are and you can put them somewhere and they grow. I have not had any problems that way. I don't know if you're trying to direct grow them in the ground as seeds or if you're starting them. But the scarlets seem to do it. It doesn't matter where I put them. I've got them on the back wall there. I've got them down there. I've got them on the deck all over. They're growing everywhere. What about you? Yeah, I've got them growing pretty much everywhere. It may maybe she just needs to start them in the house. And she did say us about cucumbers. I soaked mine too long. Oh, I soaked mine too long in the bean split. Oh no, you no, you don't want to soak. No, 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 no. I'll tell you what to do. Go back and see if you can find the video on the plastic bags. I don't know what Gary does. Well, I but Gary does. What does Gary do? You've been taking mine. So wrap them up in some paper towel and put them in a plastic bag with a damp paper towel if you if you leave too much water in there or you soak them you could just end up rotting it or drying it out you want them to think they're underground i'm gonna have to do this i did i was gonna hold back and do my new seed one until spring because who's planting now we are but who else is planting i don't know but you want to start them in the house and then get them outside and that could be your issue diane mckinn I'm in California. My garden didn't produce much this year. I still have Cinderella pumpkins. Is Deborah growing since she's growing everything? Deborah bought everything. If it's this squash, she's growing it. We don't have Cinderella pumpkins. You have Santa Claus. No, that's a um, oh, melon. Oh, that's a melon. You have a Santa Claus melon. Yeah, I've got kabocha. Uh, yes, Mitty Homestead. Hummingbirds love scarlet runner beans. Yes, they do. Go ahead, Gary. You have kabocha. I harvested that uh, that seed one yesterday. Got a few different. Oh, I want to see those seeds. Yeah, we should open it up. And the little flying saucer ones, those white ones, I forget what you call those. Paddy squash? Paddy squash, ones? yeah. Got quite a few of those. You have to go down and look at your garden. I kind of forget what I've got there, but I'm trying to get things to vine up. And a lot of these ones are bush varieties. The kindergarten sprout method. Yes, Lauren Smith. Isn't that funny? I was thinking about that. In kindergarten, when I was a kid, what they did many years ago is they rolled up some sort of paper and put it in a glass jar. Some, and I remember, and we put the seeds up against the cardboard and we wet it and you could see the seeds growing. How would you explain that? Uh, it was like a cylinder and they, the teacher put in cardboard and then we lined it with beans and you could see the beans growing that's what we did i don't know you guys are just you're all farm people so you were just putting everything in the ground <laughs> yeah my my kindergarten or prep there would be no point showing kids how to grow things uh, okay so barbara uh the the thai long beans soaking them overnight is okay but then you got to get them out of the water because that's true. You don't want to cook them. And then she put them, um, where is it, on paper towels. And then you check them. That's what I just did with those purple beans. I started them and then you took them. And I planted one and hopefully I tagged it. I think it's in my chair garden. You can soak them, but not too long. What's best to plant in autumn? Here it's different than a lot of places because 
we can still plant corn. We can still, I'm doing cuttings off of tomatoes. We can still do tomatoes. I would say watermelon's done, Korean melon, even though I'm just planting those. Now, a lot of your melons are done. See, it depends on where you live, on what you can plant. The best things in autumn are collard. You can say something if you want. Well, to I, most of what I grow is perennials. So uh, annuals, I mean, peas and that, as the weather cools off, the, the, some of the cool season vegetables. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we can plant a lot. I mean, I wouldn't plant a moringa tree now. Cucumbers, you can still try to get a little bit off of cucumbers. I want to get some more cucumbers. Actually, I did plant some. Um, mustard, bok choy, you can do all that. Squash is done. I think I said that because they need more sunlight is what it is. The, you're some, it, you, basically what you're looking for is what needs warmth, which would be your watermelon, but then they're going to lose the sunlight. So you kind of have to look for your area. Everybody's area is different. I'm reading yeah, Sunset and, Gazing. Uh, what are the chances? Snappy, chance, no, what are the chances that yellow squash, that was kept alive during the hot summer, will eventually produce fruit as we get more into rain? Okay, that's a good one. If we don't get it, where I, I'm not sure where you are. I, I should know. Um, I have grown squash all year. Yes. What I try to do is get them going. I don't care if they're producing right now or not, like the ones that are growing out of the totes down there. I should have had more down here, but it's, you know, they're not getting enough sunlight here, I've noticed. I just let them go, and I keep trimming them and trimming them, the leaves, that is. And then in the winter, they're going to get full sun on that wall, and I have had squash all year. I don't think last year I did, but the year before, I've had a couple times that as long as we don't have a freeze, they'll just keep going, and yeah. I'll get, I'll get, uh, you get a lot, of, try to get as many squash plants as you can, in other words, two or three. And then this way you have to hand pollinate in case you don't see enough bees, and you should be able to get squash as long as you don't have a freeze. Too cold. Yes, Gary? Uh, Smithy Homestead, the ty type of fish that I have, uh, mosquito fish or gambusia, they're native to the southeastern United States, and it's legal to have them in southern california some places they're invasive so they're the ones that i've got in my pond and i've also got some uh toffees or uh what are they called oh the red ones yeah yeah re uh, rosy red minnows it could be that sounds right okay so sunset gaze is um gazing is in zone nine and eight you know, it's always worth it if you can. And like I said, yes, if it stays warm enough. You can trick plants. I was once at, I don't remember, it was Home Depot at Lowe's offhand. And I was talking to some guy, it was in the end of December, and he was growing in Big Bear tomatoes. And I said, inside? And he goes, no, outside. I said, how in the world you're under snow? He said he draped off his house, a piece of plastic, and that was it. And there was snow all around and he was growing tomatoes because it was picking up some of the warmth from the house and the tomatoes kept going. So I would say on the squash, the only way, let me go back to squash real quick. The only way you will get squash in the winter, if you want, is you've got to have the plants, like you were saying, well established. So as long as you can keep them established, don't worry if you're getting fruit on them, just trim back the leaves, keep the plant healthy, go ahead and do your whatever way you're gonna compost, whether it's a pitcher that's in there or you're digging a hole and have enough food in there and you may be able to, and they have to have enough sunlight. At least I would say no less than four, but see if you can get them six hours of sunlight. And so if you have a wall or someplace warm, you can also shelter plants. See the tote lids there, the blue ones right in the middle? Some plants will grow really good if you shelter the base of the plant. And that's what that was for. And I have found peppers. I haven't even done a video on that. I have found peppers do really good. You had peppers growing once. Yeah, all winter. I had all winter growing. because they were sheltered at the base of the plant. Not the plant itself, the base of the plant. 
That, that would be a video to show exactly how it's done. Well, they were pro they, peppers will be perennial here, but they were producing fruit in the winter, which is a good thing to get going. Diana McKinn, she's got gophers, so do we. Did you, you still have gophers in your garden? Yeah, I've got at least one. Mm. Oh, Malachi is in UK. Yeah, Northern Ireland. I should have known that. Well, now I do. Let's see, Diane, she's moving at the end of the month. Oh, my new place has a huge garden and you can take your containers. Okay, I think I've answered. Emmy Lytle. Good morning. Um, e M Y L Y T. Uh oh. Is it I E or is it L? Oh my goodness. No, I'm zooming in the yeah, wrong thing. We're, Lytle. We're like Lytle Creek. Okay. Well, I don't have glasses or anything. Yeah, I'm trying to. Not that I can wear glasses lately anymore. I can't even wear glasses. Lauren Smith. Oh, thank you. Okay, I think you've answered pretty much. Probably missed quite a few. But Probably. It's hard to roll back and read on a small phone. Let's see. Oh, okay. Mark was saying how he starts his seeds. All right. Well, now I don't know if I really want to work out in the sun. <laughs> Sometimes what I do is go in. I've got a video I might put up and then come back out later when there's a little shade over there. I gotta get my ginger and turmeric planted. I still have so much I didn't plant. Oh, a plastic. That would be nice. Um, Malachi 7 is thinking of buying a plastic greenhouse. I want a greenhouse. My tent. Okay, he doesn't want to hear about my tent. I did a spur buy, <laughs> a spur of the moment. <laughs> I want to go on vacation, I tell them. We, we don't go, we have a vacation. So I went and bought a tent. That's a funny story. A three bedroom tent, mind you. It was really cheap. Walmart had it really cheap. So I bought a three bedroom tent. And I was going to set it out there. I was going to leave it out there all summer. And I was going to tell you while I'm going on vacation. But he said he's not setting it up. I didn't want it. It was still in the box, never taken out. It, as soon as it came, I called Walmart and I put in the request to return it. They don't want it back. So now I have, a th they gave me back my money and I have a three bedroom tent. Well, it's good for an emergency, I guess. So my granddaughter was all excited. She said, oh, we're gonna go camping, me and my friends, and I'll take the tent. I said, okay, one of them better have a truck. Cause the thing came is in a big box and so nobody's used it. So now we have a three bedroom tent that Walmart said, no, 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 we don't want it back. Keep it. <laughs> Trying to get rid of stuff. Do a giveaway on, on what, the tent or other stuff? How would I do a giveaway? Um, well, maybe I'll still set it up, but I want a greenhouse one day, maybe. I don't know. I could take a gazebo and cover something like that up. This has worked out really good. Look at that. And because of the way they designed it, which is good, it hasn't blown away yet. Oh, stuff I come up with. Okay, so, so the Japanese beetles have gotten into Nebraska now. I don't think they were that far north. Or... What are the ones we have? We have the green fruit beetles. I've only seen a couple. And I don't see them long enough because I run when I see them. I just don't like that they have no sense of direction of where they're going. Tent and some seeds. <laughs> Yes, I should take a survey. How many think my tent would blow away? Gary said my tent will blow away. My friend said it won't blow far. <laughs> it only blow up against the wall. Yeah, there is a parasitic wasp, I believe, that will um, go after Japanese beetle. But I don't know enough about it. But if you can plant your yard up to attract the parasitic wasp and learn how to notice them on the Japanese beetles, then you may be able to get their numbers down by doing that. There are ferrum traps and stuff like that, but that's always output. You have to keep buying stuff like that. 
I don't, I, other than that, I don't know how to deal with them. Yeah, I just thought of something. You want to hold this and talk to everybody? I'm going to turn this around for you. I lost my phone. Oops, okay, there I it can't. is. Can you hold it? Yeah, I can hold it. I'm trying to see if I left my phone in the sun. My little phone. Now this is, you know, this is facing me. How do you turn it around? <laughs> Okay, that's got it. And it wasn't in the sun. There's a thing on the corner top. Yeah, I turned it around, but I, now I don't have clear. I wasn't sure where I put it, and I thought, oh my gosh, my little phone is out in the sun. But it wasn't, it wasn't in the sun. I just remembered putting it down, but I couldn't remember I brought it back and it wasn't here. All right. Anything else you want to say? And then I'm, I am, I've got to do some stuff. You're handing me the phone. You're slowly yeah. handing me the phone. What's your favorite thing to grow? Oh, it's kind of like asking me what my favorite color is. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite thing because what usually happens is by spring, I can't wait to get squash growing because I love zucchini. And though I'm freezing a lot this year, I don't know if I have a real favorite thing. I like growing tomatoes. Yeah, I really don't think I eat a ton of them. I'm getting a kick out of the watermelon. Oh, that I'm excited about. And that's real, like you can only do that in the summer. I don't, I don't think I have a favorite thing. No. I, okay, let me turn towards you, sorry. No, I, I don't either, but there are things that I really like having. I, I like having sweet potatoes, because I can have that growing as a green mulch and that's easy for me to take care of. I don't need to water it that often. I like scarlet runner beans because I, I can harvest them as a green bean, as a soft bean and as a hard bean for um, eating over winter Plus, they bring in the hummingbirds. The hum hummingbirds really like them. That's fun to watch. And I've just got the one colour, the original red colour. So. Emmy, I, I, I did say Emmy, right? <laughs> I don't want to mess this up now. She's happy I pronounced it right. That's very rare for me, really. Tennessee Nina? Nina? Nana. Nana. How do you cure and store sweet potatoes? Oh, good. That's your thing. And then Maria Graham. Hello. Go ahead. My sweet potatoes, I tend to just leave them and harvest them when I want them. And but you bring them in and let them sit yeah, in the garage. Yeah, bring them for in and let them sit in the garage. The reason I say garage is I don't like I don't even know they're there. They're among your tools. It's oh, you want a sweet potato? <laughs> yeah, I kind of leave them in a bucket. But we're warm enough here. But to to um. Let's see, I think Mark mentioned his seeds, putting them on the hot water heater. You could put them in a box, set them above a hot water heater or even a refrigerator, and that'll keep them a little warmer. And you can cure them by doing that. Give a when you first pick them, they're starchy. And I don't mind eating them when they're starchy. But if you let them sit, the starch will be converted to sugar and then they'll become sweet. And that's how I... You have a lot of questions now coming in. Epsom salt. I have, I have Epsom salt. I don't use it. I used it once and killed all my peppers and I used the smallest amount. So we have too much salt in, in our soil anyways. You don't want to add extra salt. That's another issue you can get with too much potting soil, but that's a whole nother. And yes, I do. Thank eat you, the Malachi. Oh, the sunset gazing wants to know if you eat the uh, sweet potato vines or the, edible. The leaves, yeah, I eat the leaves, and uh, the vines. I, you can eat, yeah, the shoots because they are very prolific. Once, you, once they're growing during the growing season, you just break off the shoots and eat, eat them that way. Evelyn wants to know where you're from. I'm from Australia originally. Southeastern Australia. Don't look at me. Look at them. <laughs> no, well, I, I'm asking you a question. Is You're that... asking me. No. My... <laughs> You're 
asking me where you're from. Let's see. Uh, she hears the accent. It's such a pretty day. I could sit out here all day. See, they're quiet now. They're quiet. Well, they must be taking their break. Oh, you know what? I'm telling you, I go out there with the camera and I have seen them all singing like they're serenading me and I have to shut the camera off. They went, when I go out there to start talking, <laughs> they're almost done. Look at that. Can you see up there? Look at that. They're almost done. Really? Who needs a house that big? I mean, it's huge. Well, you know what? Everybody, well, maybe if I had a house that big, I would take half the house and turn it into a garden inside. <laughs> oh, I saw somebody once had an apartment building. I remember going, oh, years ago, I went to her apartment building. She didn't have any tenants. Her apartments were all full of birds. <laughs> building. I'm not talking about her apartment. She, I went to her apartment. She took me to another apartment and stayed full of birds. Good That's your Malachi. neighbor. Well, I don't know them. <laughs> I, I, I don't know them at all. I don't know anybody up there, really. I know my other neighbors. Neighbors all around me. I know neighbors down there, neighbors down the hill. I know the neighbor up there, my neighbors across. I have nice neighbors. Down the, uh, down the hill, she's got llamas, and well, she got a horse, and she still has her donkey. Yeah, she's still got a donkey. Let's see. How many years are they building the house? I don't know. I remember you came up with this bright idea. I want to buy a piece of land because it was cheap and build a house. So I called the city that was not far from here because there's no land here that's cheap. And it was real cheap. And I, and he want, I said, my husband wants to build his own house. And they said, okay, not a problem. You can pull the permits and it has to be done within six months. And you said, what? Remember, that yeah. was their rule. Six months when you pull the permit, they want it done in six months. And that's been, I don't know. I really don't, I, I don't know what's going on up there. Now the thing is, it's a one story house. I called and asked about it when they were building it. And they explained to me from the city, it's not my city, it's a one story house. I said, now how in the world with three, three floors, three stories, can you tell me that that's a one-story house? And they said it's one story. So you've got on the very top, let me see if I can go down. You've got, oh, no, you can't do it with my finger. There, there's one, there's another one, and then there's another one further down. And they call that a one-story house. And Judy is in Fresno, hello. Uh, let's see, oh, somebody doesn't get same, I never get male flowers. A lot of times these plant, plants start with male flowers, if we're talking about squash, otherwise I don't know. Female, okay. Uh, Maria's laughing. Yeah, I don't know. So I said to them, you, you gotta tell me, cause I wanna know how somebody doesn't know math. What? And they explained to me that it's a hillside and they're building it down the hillside. So as long as the entrance is on the ground, I don't know. This is what they told me. It's considered one story. So it could be 10 floors behind them down a hillside and they consider one story house. And that could be, Mark, they paid someone off of the permit. <laughs> that, that could be, I don't know. I really don't know. It doesn't matter to me as long as they, they don't, I don't know. They really can't do anything to me. I'm not really worried. I'm, I'm, I don't think I have anything. Well, I watched them build the house. Oops next to it now whoops let me see without knocking anybody that one is a separate house off on the side and i remember when i first moved here there was nothing there it was all bare land and they built that mansion it's non-business property no a thousand percent they paid off someone off. i don't know they, they have their own terms that's the hummingbirds checking out gary um sometimes if they say you can only build a one story they come up with a they come up with their own terms. So you have to really read between the lines on a lot of stuff. Male flowers have long stems and no knobs. Okay, so she's explaining her what a male and female is. And I do have some videos on that and pictures. There is tall trees. I'm gonna water them well. 
lots of trees. I don't think we'll have a problem. You know, most of the people up there, you really don't even hear them outside. They live in their house. Well, why not? They got, what is it, 5,000 square foot? You knew the square footage yeah, on that Yeah, I knew one. the square footage of it, but I don't know. Because they had to contact us. I think the law in California is they had to contact us. Do we have any disputes? And if you do, you can go down and blah, blah, blah. And no, I just called them and said, just uh, how big is that thing? They said, it's just a one-story house. And that's when they explained to me. So, I don't know. I don't know how many years. I'm going to say... Three or four. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, at least. I've got some footage of the footing when they were building the footing. But I, oh, you were fascinated with that. Yeah, so because it showed the, the rock underneath our property. So they cut away the footing down to the bedrock and I was able to get a clip of the um, bedrock underneath, our shale bedrock. I never looked at your, your footage, but I remember you said I'm gonna go down. Okay, so they cut the whole backside of that mountain so they could consider it a one-story house and build two stories down, right? Yeah, well, to get the foundation. The, the footing, footing and the foundation. The foundation done right, they had to go down to bedrock. Okay. No. So that means if you have a basement, it's still a one-story house. Yes. Okay, so that's the idea of their thoughts. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Elizabeth's laughing, too. Uh, Leslie. Oh, I just realized what people want, and it doesn't matter. I... They, they, some people, not the, not everybody that's here, but later on, some people come back and get mad that you didn't read the questions out loud because they don't see this unless they go back and read it. And they don't want to go back and okay. read it, even though it's yeah. left. And they say, well, you have to read everything and then answer it. I've had a couple, just a couple comments like that. And at first I thought, I'm not sure what they're talking about. And then I realized, well, they don't want, it's there because you can, you have the choice of leaving it, which we do, but they don't want to read it. Most tea is covered in pesticides. You can't believe what's covered in pesticides. And you can't really compost tea bags because it's actually plastic, but they don't get into that. It's a fabric. So, let's see, Australian accents is so cute. My brother-in-law and my sister are from Western Australia, Perth. This is um, Emmy, let's see. And they're, let's see, Perth. They have one son. Good day, mate. <laughs> Oh, well, I have been on for 72 minutes when it was literally a two-minute test, which I do all the time. Poor Gary. Comes home, gets stuff done. You probably haven't even eaten much. No. And you find me live. Like I said, I, we were in the garden one day, and it's like, do you want to go live? You said, I'm so tired. Not now. We're live. <laughs> He's a good sport. All right, I'm glad everybody's talking among themselves. I can just sit back and enjoy the day. Let's see, I already said hello to Elizabeth. Leslie, okay, she's talking to Judy, good. Yeah, I'm I'm with um, oh, Mark. I would take the tea bags and I would just throw them out. Very few will actually be worth doing anything with. They're not going to even decompose, I don't think, in the compost. And I don't, I don't know if they have pesticides, but I know that they actually, they're, they're plastic. They're, it's a woven type of mesh that's mixed with plastic. Even your grow bags are plastic, people don't realize. Do you have something to say? Camera's on you. No, I don't. All right, I'm sure I missed, and I'm sorry. Um... Do honey do melons have male and female flowers? I think they all do. Because I was looking at something, I couldn't find a male, a female flower. I saw on something the other day. Oh, okay. Eddie? It could be Eddie. And Crafty Boxer California Gary is cracking me up trying to read and trying to concentrate and listen at the same time. Uh, I'm, I don't see with Oh, that. Evelyn, uh, I live alone. You must have. I am going way up now. Oh, okay. And I'm just trying to go back. What I don't like is I can feel my phone is gonna get hot. 
So, because I'm, I'm on my phone right now. This is working out really, really good. I'm glad I didn't throw it away. See, you always want, you want to throw my stuff away. Look at that. And it's going to work really good. Should I, I think you meant, Emmy, hand fertilize my zucchini. I, I try to hand fertilize anytime I can, even here, in case the bees miss it. Let's see, taller trees. That is a good idea. It's Evelyn says I need taller trees. Oh, Judy gave up her entire garden because this heat wave killed everything. I planted except for my flowers, two bell peppers and two tomato plants and cilantro that are in the shade. I have cilantro growing in the shade. Dish pans. You can move dish pans. They're, they're about four gallons and you can plant a lot in those dish pans I get. I've got a whole video on that. And my daughter's growing a lot too in dish pans. And you can just pick them up and move and put things in the shade. Heat loving plants. Watermelon loves the sun. It's hard to believe how much they like. Squash, don't mind it. They droop, just leave them alone during the day. Just make sure the ground is good and watered. Yeah, yeah the, the stickers. Fig tray mum, do you know if the stickers on fruit decompose? No. No, they don't. You find them later on. <laughs> you go through everything's gone except for that little Chiquita banana or something. You know, you'll find the sticker. But if it's still there, I wouldn't worry about it. Just you could throw it away at the time. I can't worry about everything. So, I, but they don't decompose. Okay, uh, Maria, let's see, have a weekend. Wow, it's Friday already. Can't believe it's Friday, Julie. K-E-I-L, Kill, Kill, Key, Kill. Uh, Northern California. It looks like Kill, Kill, Kill. Oh, Leslie, oh, how hot has it been? Oh, okay, Judy. Oh, jeez. And my sister in central Victoria, Australia, the past couple of years, they've gone straight to gardening under shade cloth because that gets Terry? really... Karen? Karen. That gets really hot there in the summers and it doesn't cool down at night. Kyle. And Go ahead. Kyle. You can grow a lot in the shade. We had a tomato plant growing up against the wall here in the complete shade and grow full of tomatoes. Yeah. But if you're looking at trying to grow now in the heat, may, maybe this year might be too late to plant it, but over winter and whatever, maybe get your ideas together and get some shade cloth so that you can prepare ahead for the heat when it comes back next year. I'll tell you, if you're growing tomatoes, as soon as you see there's a problem, and I've done it here, you can do cuttings real quick. They'll root real, real fast. And then if you can get some something shut up, set up with shade, then you can get the tomatoes growing again. You can do that. Yeah. Um, or even when the heat finally breaks, you might be able to get something growing that's quick growing. I would go with smaller tomatoes because they grow much faster than the large tomatoes. There's nothing wrong with large tomatoes, but they just grow much faster. And my, my rhubarb, if I know- Thank the you, Debbie Brown. My rhubarb, if I know the weather forecast in the next couple of days, I'll. I'll throw a piece of shade cloth over the top of my rhubarb because they've got really large leaves and they fry in the blazing sun. But we haven't had any real 100 degree days. Not it's for days. Close, we'll have a day and then all of a sudden it's cooler the next day. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's we haven't had that week of 100 degrees here, right here. Yeah. And it's been, they're singing again. It's just missing us, but that black irrigation tubing, you could start to set that up in the spring and then you could throw a sheet over it or anything you want. It holds a lot of stuff. It's holding up my watermelon, but you can throw easily a sheet or something on top. You can have it all set up, ready to go. And if you tie wire to it, let me show you. Wire, yarn, you can clip something to it, say just tie it on there because it's hard to clip let's say it's too hard to clip on something that thick but even a piece of wire or yarn you just string it around and then you could just these clips are wonderful no i have not done a video on this i love these clips i've been using them and they're cheap i didn't do a video because they weren't cheap 
Then I went to a dollar store and found them for 20 for a dollar. And I thought, why am I buying clothespins? So I've been using that now. But if you had something that you could quickly just go out there and clip a flag, um, but they're too expensive a flag. I would go with a cheap sheet. Or if you have a thrift store, you might be able to get some fabric real cheap. See, this tomato plant is doing far better than this one in the shade, though. This one's been reaching. It's been trying to go that way. But it's still growing. Look at all the tomatoes. So it depends on the plant, but if it's hot enough, you should be able to get a lot of stuff growing. Uh, in the fall now, your collard is good to start. Your broccoli, all your brassicas do really good to start them now. And as soon as the weather isn't so, so, so hot, like over 100 degrees, you can start going with those. Corn, you can grow those in the heat. Corn likes the heat. When I lived in San Fernando Valley, I can remember going to the corn patch. There was in, right in the middle of the valley, off the freeway, and you could still buy corn in the beginning of December. They were harvesting it. So it loved the heat out there. All right. Do you have anything else? Because I'm not. By Nida Bouvai, I'm in Texas, added shade cloth. It is 20 to 30 degrees cooler. My garden is green and thriving, and my neighbors are dead and brown. So yeah, it lowers. It lowered the temperature 20 to 30 degrees shade cloth? with the shade cloth. And that makes sense. And that's true. That's the other thing. If you want to put shade cloth, this works. I just haven't figured out exactly how to put it up. This is another type of irrigation tubing. And I'm working with it. I like it because it's so cheap. My goodness, is he landing on us? <laughs> oh, he's just loud. Wow. Um, Sometimes they're really low. I'm waving to the people in the window, and they shouldn't be that low here. Um, so you can clip a lot of stuff onto this, and it's like five dollars for what 50 feet. But if you had something you can clip shade cloth on, that would be great. Yes, and Evelyn Wiggins, Robbie, I have my watermelon vines growing in a bin with mulch, and the melons are in there. Are they okay? I don't I, I well, said, I would. I would lift the melons off the mulch, find some oh. way of lifting them above the mulch so the, that they're not in contact. What I did with the watermelon that's here is I had a piece of plastic on the table. And so I sat it, I just didn't want to see the plastic. I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't. There's a piece of plastic there. So I'll probably have to put something else. It's just sitting on a piece of plastic. Yeah, I would lift it off only because it probably by nature would be fine unless it gets scratched. If a little scratch gets on it, that opens, whoops, sorry, bang my phone. That opens it up to roly polies and stuff. But you can, you know, there was, um, I don't remember his name. I've got his book from the 60s, 70s. He was putting big watermelons on cans, like soup cans. So you just, anything to raise it up. Even if you have a tote lid, if you've got a sour cream lid, yeah, I would just get it off the, the mulch itself and gently sit it on something like that. I would sit it on probably something plastic, not paper or anything, because paper will start to decompose and it might do something to the skin. So I set mine on it. I actually had those clips and there was a plastic for those metal clips I just showed. And I took the plastic and I set it on the, on the plastic. So the rest are hanging. I've got one down there I've got to actually move. It's sitting on the soil too. Design P-R-O-S-H. Thank you Robbie and Gary. All right we've been on too long and we have bored everybody. They're sitting back thinking gosh we could have had a lot done today. <laughs> oh Dollar Tree. Okay you know I didn't go to Dollar Tree. I went to a little dollar store and I do have to go to Dollar Tree. You get close, the clothespins have gone up. Let's just face the facts of life. They used to go to the 99 cent store and get 50 in a package for a dollar. I have not seen 50. Now they're like 20. Well, why would I want to get 20 when I can get the metal clips and there's like 20 in a pack? Can you see a little guy? He's right there. Oh, he flew off. He's going to check that one out, which I think is empty. He's angry. Look. Yes, he's angry. That one's empty. Oh, there must be something in there. I'm going to take it in and wash it. All right, uh, let's see. If you see something, answer, because we do have to go. We can't bore these people this long. Especially this was not planned. 
binder clips. They last forever. I like the colored ones. I got you big ones. You wanted big ones for something. Was it the tubing you wanted to go over? You got the real big ones. You told me to pick those up. That was like five or six in a package. I took the little ones because I got yeah, 20. I wanted the larger ones to go over. <laughs> Evelyn's saying I'm not boring you. Yeah, she's being nice. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. To go over rebar and um, shade cloth to hold that in place. I can go to the store if I want. Actually, I'm done with everything I need to do. I put a video together on hummingbirds that I could put up tomorrow. I have a short on composting. I already did. I've become a workaholic on this. Or I just love it. I, it's just so much fun. I did a video on my chair garden that I did not put together yet. And just did that. And Gary has promised me a video. I shouldn't say that. I don't want him to hear me. You'll have a video pretty soon? Pretty soon. Whoa, whoa. Uh oh, what happened? I just hit a button. Oh, be careful. Well, you uh, you can't do anything. But, uh oh, you timed somebody out, Gary? No, it no wasn't, somebody wasn't else timed somebody. Somebody else did. Oh, let me see. Can I do something? Somebody else did. Let's see. You got to be careful with there's buttons. I have to be careful when I touch a button. Let me see. I don't know how to fix anything. Oh, cloth mask. That would work really good. Um, you know, I don't know how to... Malachi, is there a way Eddie the Crafty Boxer in California and, or Ben Dingo, if you can try to... I think that was an accident. Um, it looked like you got timed out. I've done that before. I was, push, I was touching, like now I'm trying to scroll and... If you scroll somebody's name, sometimes you touch them, it times them out. I timed out for 30 seconds. 300 seconds. 300 seconds? Yeah. So, and I, ha you know who knows how to untime them when that happens? And he's not there, Donald. Because that's happened. Somebody accident. And it's a lot of times it happens by accident and there's nothing you can do. And if I touch something, it can time out everybody I've done. But I've timed out people. I actually deleted somebody once accidentally and then they contacted me and they said they were angry at me and they didn't want to talk to me anymore. And it's really, it's hard on a little phone. And I think you can override the time out. Tell me how, because I don't know what button to, if I, you know, I can touch something and then I'll end Maybe you can. Um, no. I don't see how to do that. What is this button? Oh, let's let's hit the button before we. Oh no no no! Now we have a problem. I've got something on here I don't want. Cancel. I still have something on here I don't want. Okay, I got rid of that. Let's see. Um, nope, I can't find it. I cannot find it. Now we can't leave until we untime that person. I'm so sorry. They got timed out and I don't know how to do any of this. I can scroll. One bit, let's see. I have them growing from one bin vines into the next with most. My daughter's got that. She's got watermelon growing in totes and I think they have long left and they're going from one bin to the other or on the ground get a tablet you know maybe i do have a tablet my tablet's old my phone is newer and like i said i wasn't planning on coming on i want to do this next time if i can with my i do have a laptop i got told i need that i'm still learning how to use okay bye mark have a wonderful day i'm leaving in a second yeah i don't see how i could untime somebody i i don't don't have that many buttons on my phone Let's see, um, it's 440 Victoria. I just found you live. Don't go. <laughs> Don't go. Uh, where'd it go? Oh my goodness. Got a phone call. I shouldn't have a phone call coming through. It's supposed to block it if I'm doing this. 
Let's see, I'm trying to go backwards. Let's see, I love listening to you guys. We're just sitting here right now. I, I'm i testing, oh, it's stuck. I have put stuff on top of the motor. I came out here to have a bowl of cereal and just sit here and think and decided to hook up a modem. Right now it's on a plug, but it's gonna be on that one the next time I try it. So you'll see another test coming, going, testing my, they call it a generator. It is not a generator. It's actually a battery. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Wish Cloud Studios, I'm still fighting rodents in my garden. They really love eating my squash flowers and leaves right now. I am. I am toying with the idea of enclosing a portable carport. That would be good. The other thing too, if you, you know, I know they're not cheap anymore is dog runs. I would, if I had an issue with something, I would get a dog run and I'd really enclose that really good and keep the top open if nothing was coming in. This way you could have bees and stuff come in and you can keep the other things out. Sheet metal, something plastic around the bottom to make it difficult for anything to climb up. Uh, Florence says we can hear you. I hope so, because right now I'm sitting next to it. It was earlier, I took a walk out to the ponds and I think you saw the dragonflies were all over and then I walked down to your bees, Gary, but I'll have to look at that. A few said that it was getting fuzzy. It was too far. Oh, is she still timed out? He or she? Let's see, I don't have anything to attach them. I'm not sure what that's about. Are you leaving? We're live. Oh, hi. Are you leaving? Uh, in a second. I'm working. She got to see the deer. The That's other day funny. we kind of creeped down here and she turned around and said, Grandma, there's three. I told her there was a deer and there were three. She's going to work. <laughs> so, let's see. Um... Anyways, I, do you have anything else to say, Gary? No, I don't. Love seeing you in the kitchen. That's a story in itself. I still can't get back. Eddie the Crafty Boxer in California. Hang on. Is that? Anissa, yeah. do you know how, if, if somebody gets timed out, to put them back? Put that on what? <clears throat> oh, God, I'm going to get water. <clears throat> um, if somebody gets tapped. Okay, she's back. She's back. Yeah. Do you know how to do that stuff yet? Why would you get turned out on, on If somebody eyes? has a wrench and they accidentally touch it, you can do it on accident. I can do it on accident. They'll turn, like, let's say, let's say somebody was cussing or something or said something bad. YouTube can time them out or you can do it. Mm -hmm. I've timed out people accidentally because you'll be scrolling and then all of a sudden you'll touch something. But how do you untime them out? Do you know? I have no clue. Oh, you're going to have to learn. I know. You're going to have to learn. Do you have anything to say to the world? Hi, everyone. She doesn't garden, she says. You should see sometimes in the kitchen the beautiful uh, green onions you're growing. <laughs> I don't have any right now. You don't? No. All right, I'll let you go get ready for work. Yep. Okay. Let's wave goodbye. Bye. Okay, so she's getting ready for work. Okay, so then it's okay. Uh, oh, I am now. Whoa, there's so many in there. You have anything to say, Gary? I'm enjoying no, the no. garden. It's, um, whoops. Teresa, hello. She's in a condo. Just... No worries, Eddie's back. You know, that happened. I did that to somebody and they said they unsubscribed and they're not coming back. It, you know, you're on a phone. You, I guess you can do it on the computer and when you're scrolling and trying to go back. <clears throat> I should have brought something out to drink. I don't have anything. I have yesterday's coffee still sitting there. Um... You tap something, and I don't know how to get it back. She is. Oh, Maria, that is my granddaughter, and you communicate with my daughter, the one that's putting up her garden now. Finally, after all this time, I got her to put the garden up. It was like, I don't know what to say. Nobody's going to hear me. I said, I told her just, you've got a phone. Go out there, walk around, and put your stuff up, because she likes trying different types of seeds and different things. She's got, like... She have five or six different okra growing this year just because well yeah, they like okra. She's testing a lot of things. She likes testing things. Keep in mind this was the one that said she would never use totes, but then he, Gary did too. And now she's probably got more totes than me. She has a field. She's just laid them out in her yard. She has a small yard, and it's literally if you go to look at it, it's uh, adventurous doodles. Is that what she calls herself? 
Adventurous Doodles? Adventurous Labradoodles. And she literally has taken her entire yard almost and laid them out with totes. And then with totes, I know some of you have said it's so expensive, but I'm going to tell you, if you have a Walmart, and I know not everybody does, we're fortunate enough to have a couple Walmarts around. If they've got totes and they want them cleared out, we've had them, seen them really cheap within a, just a few dollars. And we were buying those purple ones. I don't have any purple ones out here. I will, because they're going to go there. They're kind of a eggplant color, and they were real cheap. So if you watch, you, you can find them. What's happening now is the college students are going to school. And I think they make some of these totes throw light for the school themed colors. If they end up with too many and nobody else wants this color, then they'll blow them out. So And they blow them out through Walmart. So you keep an eye on. Put 18 gallon tote, uh, put 18 gallon tote, how do you type it in? Because sometimes it's hard to type it in for the container. 18 gallon tote storage containers on Walmart and just keep an eye out on the prices. And it's usually free shipping. You look like you have something to say. No, I don't. Rocco, R-O-C-I-O? Rocco, R -O -C -I -O? Uh, That's a regular. Greetings Ro from- Rocio? Rocio, how say that again? Rocio? Rocio, I don't Rocio? know. I'm Okay, now it's flipping by too fast. See, this is too fast for me. Um, oh, okay, so Maria found four chairs. Wow, tomato sticks and four chairs in a trash can. I do that. I've stopped and picked up totes. People throw it away because they don't have a lid. I've got plenty of lids. Oh, do I have lids? Um, oh, okay, Sunset Gazing watches Deborah's um, videos. I told her to turn her camera once. She says, why? I said, okay, so I'm not going to tell her what to do. But yes, I'm just glad she's putting it up. Now she's got this banana she bought and she's taking care of. Do you have anything else? Because I know you, we got, we got to go eat something. Well, I got to go get some stuff done. Yeah, I still had errands to run. Oh, <gasps> I forgot about that. Okay, all right. So I know I'm missing a lot. Dear Julie, Julie, junk journal, everybody. She's been toting for 15 years. Oh my goodness. In a mobile home, on a mobile home in Ojai. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm just trying to see if I missed anybody. Farah. Okay, she tests a lot of different things. Darlene. Uses, let's see, Darlene's got five gallon buckets. Says a company uses a lot of them. That's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna say goodbye. Sunshine Country Chickens is here. Got my hair pulled back. I've got to get to work. I forgot you have errands to run. Okay, so I think that's it for right now. I'm gonna see what I can do with this and my not a generator. They sell it as a generator, and be able to do that. Let me turn around so you can see Gary better. And do you have anything else to say? I'm gonna let you sign us off. No, because I signed this on. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, and um, don't forget to eat what you grow. And hope you're successful with your gardens. I hear a helicopter. Okay, you want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. Tell them to go check out your mom's channel. Check out my mom's channel. It's Adventurous Labradoodles. There you my go. My mom is awesome. Oh, oh okay. Gosh. I am running. That is a fruit beetle. They like my hair. They're coming after the figs behind you. No, they like my hair. They like. You've had them in your hair? Yeah, they get stuck in my hair all the time. Here? All the time. Here, everywhere. Yeah. I didn't know that. I had one attack me in uh, the DMV line one day. <laughs> That's why I run, because they have no sense of direction. Anything that has no sense of direction and just goes for you, I'm There's running. There's no point to them. <laughs> They gotcha. smell, they smell my hair. They like to smell my hair. They think I'm a flower. I don't know. I don't like Jesus, them. Jesus, I put up shade cloth. Not a fun thing. Oh my gosh. Thanks for the live, Elizabeth. Uh, that message was uh, Roke, Roke, Roke. R I knew his name, uh, Rocco. Okay, anyways, I'm going to go say goodbye. You already said, you already yep. signed off. Bye. Have a great day. And he's got to go. Bye-bye.